Okay, Picard Stargazer. Uh, this one, I believe, takes place between Season 2 and Season 3 of Picard. And uh, Picard gets on this Stargazer thing, and he goes back to a planet. And what's interesting is this is done by Kristen Beyer and Mike Johnson, uh, and so is the first Picard one, and Angel Hernandez does the art. The coloring, uh, the colorist steps on the art a little more in this one than they did in the first volume, uh, which works sometimes and doesn't work at other times. It's kind of cool looking. I guess, uh, but but I don't like the colorist quite as much on here. But Angel Hernandez's art, especially with the starships, he does a really good job here. In this one, it's another Romulan plot, so it's very similar to the first one, where uh, the Romulans are kind of like doing a uh, a bad thing. And he harkens back to his original Stargazer days. Uh, you see, he has hair here. That's Picard. And he went to a planet and said, "Hey, Romulans, leave the planet alone. Get your get your ore elsewhere." And the Romulans said, "Okay." And then they avoided their catastrophe. Well, guess what? The Romulans lied about it, and then they subjugated the local population and, and strip-mined it and all that. And now Picard's coming back and dealing with it in the future after the Romulans have blo had their star blown up and all that other stuff uh, from the Star Trek continuity. And he has to kind of fight them off for this local populace. Uh, and he does so. Uh, and he does so, and he gets some help from uh, Seven, who's like got this like ranger thing going on with her own starship and all that. Uh, looking really cool, and uh, and then Seven ends up getting back into Starfleet, which then ties into like season three when she ends up as the first officer of that Starfleet officer. Now this is only a three issue series, much like uh, the other one. This one was better done, even though it's basically got the same plot structure, which is like the Romulans are subjugating a, a local populace. Picard has to save the day. This one at least tied in like with the past and like had a little bit more uh, of depth to it. Uh, the first one was. Uh, a bit more heavy-handed in the like, oh, we're anti-colonialism, and they literally say that in the first one. Uh, where this one, uh, it does seem like at least they tried to like make a plot out of it and do something interesting with it. So I like this one a bit better. Uh, same art team, same writing team. Uh, the dialogue's good on this stuff, uh, and so if you're going to pick up one of the two books, I'd pick up this one uh, because it's at least uh, decently readable. So I call this a seven out of ten, decent stuff, uh, and that's kind of like our average baseline. Uh, and that is our book review. Hit the like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.